Hello everyone, this is the Developing China. Welcome to our channel. Today, we will discuss a topic with you. Today we will talk about the topic of China since times fight back on USA, the world largest AI industries IPO. Since the United States has continuously imposed sanctions on Chinese technology companies, every piece of news about China's technology industry has touched people's hearts. Naturally, Chinese AI will not be deterred, and it will also hit American technology hard. However, the current U.S. sanctions are more slander, no doubt pouring dirty water on Chinese companies. The successful listing of SenseTime has brought a glimmer of hope to those players who are still struggling and lingering in the dilemma of AI large-scale landing. Nowadays, some people will say that SenseTime is not only a technology company in China, don't others have the opportunity to go public? However, the United States is not only sanctioning one, the U.S. sanctions on SenseTime and other technology companies have a lot of impact. The U.S. Treasury Department announced that SenseTime will be included in the so-called military-related companies list, imposing investment restrictions and prohibiting Americans from trading the company. Invest According to relevant U.S. policies, once included in the list, U.S. investors will not be able to trade SenseTime in the market. After being blocked by the United States, how did SenseTime respond? SenseTime was changing before it went public. How did it successfully resolve it? Let's look down. Who is ahead in the AI competition between China and the U.S.? According to the U.S. Wall Street Journal report on December 7, the latest research report of Harvard University shows that although the U.S. government is not willing to be surpassed by China in some fields, China has begun to lead the United States in 5G communication, artificial intelligence and other fields. The Harvard report added that China has clearly surpassed the United States in practical applications of artificial intelligence, including facial recognition, speech recognition, and fintech. The article said that at present, the United States still dominates the semiconductor industry. But China will soon catch up with the U.S. in two important areas, semiconductor manufacturing and chip design. China's semiconductor manufacturing has surpassed that of the United States, and its share of global production has risen from less than 1% in 1990 to 15%, while the United States share has fallen from 37% to 12%. In the field of 5G communications, China has installed 950,000 5G base stations, while the United States has only 100,000. As of the end of last year, 150 million Chinese had 5G phones with an average speed of 300 megabits per second, while only 6 million Americans had 5G phones with an average speed of 60 megabits per second. 5G service providers in the U.S. are focusing more on advertising their capabilities than building infrastructure. China has made no secret of its ambitions to become a global leader in technologies that will shape development for decades to come. China's economic reform plan emphasizes technological innovation as a way to avoid the middle-income country's predicament. Surprisingly, China has achieved great success in achieving its ambitious technological goals. Chinese technology has made huge leaps in recent years, and is now an all-around competitor. In every foundational technology of the 21st century artificial intelligence, semiconductors, 5G networks, quantum science, biotechnology, and green energy China could soon become a global leader. In some areas, China is already number one in the world. Is SenseTime the first of the four Chinese AI tigers?
As an artificial intelligence software company, SenseTime takes adhering to originality and letting AI lead human progress as its mission, realizing the connection between the physical world and the digital world with artificial intelligence, promoting the sustainable development of social productivity, and bringing people better it aims to continue to lead the cutting-edge research of artificial intelligence, continue to build a more extensible and more inclusive artificial intelligence. Software platform promote economic, social and human development and continue to attract and cultivate top talents. Shape the future together. SenseTime has deep academic accumulation and long-term investment in original technology research, continuously enhancing its industry-leading full-stack AI capabilities, covering key technical fields such as perception intelligence, decision intelligence, intelligent content generation, and intelligent content enhancement, as well as key capabilities including AI chips. AI sensors and AI computing infrastructure. In addition, SenseTime is forward-looking to build a new type of artificial intelligence infrastructure SenseCore SenseTime AI Big Device, which connects computing power, algorithms and platforms, greatly reduces the price of artificial intelligence production factors and realizes high efficiency, low-cost, large-scale AI innovation and landed and then opened up the closed loop of commercial value, solved the problem of long-tail application, and promoted artificial intelligence into the stage of industrialization development. SenseTime's business covers four major sectors, smart business, smart city, smart life, and smart car. The related products and solutions are well received by customers and partners. SenseTime has been established in Hong Kong, Shanghai, Beijing, Shenzhen, Chengdu, Hangzhou, Nanping, Qingdao, Sanya, Xi'an, Taipei, Macau, Kyoto, Tokyo, Singapore, Riyadh, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Kuala Lumpur, Seoul, and other places office. In addition, SenseTime has operations in Thailand, Indonesia, the Philippines, and other countries. Founded in 2014, SenseTime is a well-known artificial intelligence startup company in China. It completed eight rounds of financing in less than five years. At present, its valuation has reached 4.5 billion US dollars, making it the world's most valuable artificial intelligence unicorn company. SenseTime successfully listed in Hong Kong. SenseTime, one of the four Chinese AI rising powers, was officially listed in Hong Kong on the 30th. After the opening, the company's stock price rose all the way, with an increase of more than 21%, while the closing increase on the day was 7.27%. However, SenseTime was previously placed on a restricted investment list because the United States questioned that the company's use of facial recognition technology to target Uyghurs would constitute human rights violations. SenseTime started accepting subscriptions on the 16th and plans to sell 1.5 billion shares. However, on the last day of the public sale on December 10, the U.S. Treasury Department restricted the capital injection of the United States and accused the company of developing a facial recognition application that could identify the target ethnic group, especially Xinjiang Uyghur, because since time applied for a patent he once emphasized that Uyghurs with beards, sunglasses and masks can be identified. However, since time refuted the U.S. accusation as baseless and fundamental misunderstanding of the company, emphasizing that it is committed to developing ethical artificial intelligence and abiding by the laws and regulations of relevant countries and regions, and believes that technological development should not be subject to interfering influence of regions and political positions. Since time re-raised its shares on the 20th, excluding U.S. investors from the global offering. 
SenseTime acknowledged that being blacklisted by the U.S. may affect its ability to raise funds, so it replaced mainstream investors with Chinese investors. In addition to being restricted from investment, SenseTime was also sanctioned by the U.S. Department of Commerce on the supply chain, so it was unable to purchase U.S. technology and products. The other three companies of the China AI4 Rising Powers, MegVI Technology, Yunsung Technology, E2 Technology, were also questioned by the U.S. Department of Commerce and the Treasury Department for secretly cooperating with the Chinese military and violating the human rights of ethnic minorities in Xinjiang. Supply Chain Financing Sanctions In this relisting, the issuance scale and price of SenseTime's IPO have not changed, but its supplementary prospectus disclosed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange has made many revisions and supplements to the original prospectus. SenseTime stated that due to the constantly changing and developing nature of the relevant U.S. regulations, it has requested that U.S. investors be excluded from subscribing for the offer shares of the global offering, including the offer shares offered by the Hong Kong public offering. In other words, SenseTime's restart of the IPO directly excluded American investors, thus greatly reducing the impact of the United States on the IPO. SenseTime's breakthrough is not accidental, but in the long-term persistence, it has accumulated a relatively deep product force and technical team, and it has accumulated a lot. After the successful listing of SenseTime, both the industry and users have a clearer understanding of the hard power of this Chinese AI star company. Before the listing, the public valuation of Shangtang Technology was 77 billion yuan. According to public information, Shangtang Technology, which was established in 2014, has previously conducted 12 rounds of financing attracting well-known capital such as IDG Capital and Alibaba. In this delay of listing, SenseTime's lineup of cornerstone investors has been strengthened, nine capitals including Shanghai Subway Capital, Guotai Junan Securities Investment and Hong Kong Science and Technology Park Venture Capital Fund have settled in and the scale of cornerstone investment has also increased from 450 million US dollars to 510 million dollars behind all kinds of capital blessings sensetime has the leading technical capabilities in china and even in the world technology and talent are two sides of the same body and sensetime has a globally luxurious talent team at present SenseTime has 40 professors and more than 5,000 employees, about two-thirds of them are scientists and engineers, including more than 250 doctors and doctoral candidates. In terms of academic research, the company has won more than 70 global competitions and published more than 600 top academic papers and more than 8,000 artificial intelligence patents and patent applications, leading the industry. In terms of R&D scale, SenseTime's R&D expenditures in 2018, 2019, 2020, and the first half of 2021 were 850 million renminbi, 1.92 billion, 2.45 billion and 1.77 billion respectively, with a cumulative total of about 7 billion. At the same time, 60% of the funds raised by Shangtang Technology will be used for research and development. According to the prospectus, in the industrial-level production process of AI models, the industry takes several weeks, and with SenseCore, SenseTime's R&D and engineering teams can shorten the development time to several hours. In today's video, we introduced the Sino-US Technology Competition, and the successful listing of SenseTime in Hong Kong. So, how do you feel about this? Do you think that in the future, can Chinese technology lead the world? 
AI4 rising powers take the test together, which is stronger. Thanks for watching our video. If you love our videos, please share them with your friends.